Hey guys, wow. I'm back. I'm back. It's so hot today. It's hot, hot, hot. Um, it's funny because I thought it was kind of cooling down. Um, but it is a hot day. It's going to be a hot day. I was going to do some yard work today too. I don't think I'll be doing that. So, feedback, you guys. Um, I just got done doing a um, sculpt class. It was kind of like a hybrid step and sculpt. Um, she kind of mixed it up a little bit. She was a really great instructor. I'm not going to say anything against her. And I'm not going to say where I took the class. But I got to tell you guys, if you... Um, are a beginner exerciser or if you have back pain or if you have hip pain it's just amazing to me how many of these national clubs um, are teaching unsafe classes and um, they're axial loading like 95% of the time there is um, so much stress that is being put through the lumbar spine that's unbelievable. It's unbelievable. In fact, I wouldn't doubt it if people take one of these classes and then go home a garden or just go home and literally anything when you bend over and twist um, is a total recipe for a bulge disc, herniated disc. So what's concerning to me is that, and this is in every single one of these classes that I've been taking, is that obviously somewhere they're teaching that in certifications. I don't know I don't know who these who these girls are certified through, but I am just in absolute utter shock. It's amazing. Um, most of the audience is a younger demographic, but I'm just wondering like what do what do what do women do and men that want to get in shape but just can't do these classes? I just feel like there's just this huge Hole in the industry so what I'm gonna really start doing is I'm gonna start doing some videos um, and I'm just gonna start filming them and putting them on this channel and get the word out I just want to develop a, a, a program for um, I don't know baby boomers I think we're kind of a little I think I'm on the young side of baby boomers I kind of think of my uncle as being a baby boomer um, so I don't know what generation I am, but, um, it's just amazing. They're just, you just, you, you, and it's the, and, excuse me, the instructors, uh, uh, little spirits are amazing. This is my mineral water. I always say to my clients, bring water with you. And at every red light, drink water. And that'll help you keep uh, hydrated. And especially in Tucson, you gotta stay hydrated. In Arizona or any of the, you know, the warmer, drier areas. Anyway, um, yeah, there's just so much axial loading and like, just, it's, it's like, I don't know if these instructors are aware of the uh, maltivitis and the erector spinaeus and the splenus capitis all those little tiny muscles they're like about this big so they're axial loading what I mean by that is they're taking the body and they're doing bent over rows and they're staying in this position here the only thing that is supporting that entire half of your body are these really tiny muscles and you know they're like come on feel the burn move through it and I'm just like I just, what'll happen is if you are in a weakened state, those fibers are going to literally burn out. You're going to burn those out. And then after you burn those out, you're now going to be going, you're going to be reversing the curvatures in a lot of people's spines. So instead of a nice lordotic curve, they're going to go into a kyphosis or a kyphotic curvature. And it's just not, it's just not good. It's faulty posture, faulty movement. And you're now creating a motor engram sequencing pattern where you have faulty posture. So make sure if you're going into those classes, don't, 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 uh, watch where you're loading. Is your body like, are you, are they doing a lot of stuff? 
In other words, are you, here's a, here's a neutral position. Are you going forward and is everything, is it bent over rows? Uh, she did bent over rows. She did bent over uh, delt work. She did bent over triceps. And then she did a million squats. Um, I did like she did a lot of uh, balance work, but I do like 10 times more and would in integrate that a little bit more. I She did do a nice shift in tempo. Um, but there's so much frontal axial loading going on that I just don't know why people aren't rocking around in back pain. It's like crazy to me. Um, and what it's gonna do is create a, it's gonna create a faulty motor engram sequencing even if you do it without pain and you don't, where you've gotta load, you gotta teach your body to load. So I literally, you know, I always listen to my body and I just feel like the biggest dork because I'm the only one in the class and I'll just kinda like, uh, go and do my own thing, you know? Um, so what's crazy is, um, yeah, it's just, it's really great. I mean, I literally, I, I think I took half the class and then I just did a yoga class after that. And gentle, again, the instructors personally are really sweet girls. I think they're really, really nice girls. The problem is that, um, there's just not enough options given. And um, she, I thought her soul was, that's why I just, I don't wanna, I'm not, I'm not saying anything personally against any of the instructors. It's what they're teaching. There's no, there's no glute work. There's no, she did, she stepped on glutes for once, but everything is just, act is just frontal axial loading. And it's just like, if you're taking a class, just in your mind, in your mind, just go, gosh, do I need to squeeze my glutes? Do I need to do a little bit more back work? Go to the ground, listen to her tempo, listen to what her breath is, try to go with it, but you know, work around that or see what muscle groups they're working. So if they're doing vastus lateralis, um, you know, vastus medialis, whatever it is that her focus is, quads, hamstrings, you know, calves, you know, whatever it is, just just find a different way that you can do that exercise where you're not axial loading so much. And here's the thing, I'm sh like, if you're an athlete, good for you. You know, you can you can do all that. And if it doesn't hurt you, awesome. I mean, more, more power to you. Um, for me, it's just my hugest pet peeve about doing these classes and taking them is just, uh, just because I've been in the functional orthopedic ra rehab um, world for so long, it just, it's like, I, I'm just, I like, I want to pass my business cards out and say, when you go into back pain, just give me a call and I'll teach you how to get yourself out. Cause these classes, I, I can't believe there's not more people, um, getting hurt in these classes, but that's just me. That's just me. Um, anyway, you guys, a little bit, I was a little bit bummed out because it's just hard. You can't really relax and get into a good workout when you can't trust your instructor. And for me, it's like, I mean, it's just, it's just defeating. It's just defeating because you feel like you, you feel defeated when you can't complete the class and you can't do the class. It just is a very defeating feeling. Um, and, you know, I hate that. I, I don't want to feel that way. So anyway, just to kind of uh, end out this vlog, I want to tell you guys the most important thing is to listen to your body, to listen to where you are in your space, in your body. And if something hurts, stop and try to reverse the, the movement. So if you're doing a lot of bent over stuff, what you want to do is go to the floor like immediately after if I was teaching and do glute work, you know, or do paraspinal work from the floor. So that, you know, it, and just think of it, if you want the tree to grow this way and you do all your exercises this way, what's gonna happen is you'll look in the mirror and you'll think, oh, you look good. But if you turn to the side, this is what you're creating. You're creating a faulty movement pattern. You're creating strength and a motor engram sequencing pattern around that. Where I would rather bring you up into neutral. Yeah, sure, it's good to train some of this, but all these tiny muscles here in your low back are literally like this big. You're actually loading that whole, that, so that whole, that whole three quarters of your body is being supported by those muscles. Um, lower abdominals, absolutely integrate that. But I just, when I was looking around the class, I just saw people go from lordos, lordosis into, into kyphosis and into a kyphotic posture. And uh, when you do that, you're reversing the natural curvatures in your back and you will go into back pain.
So anyway, uh, you guys definitely make comments below. Let me know if you guys want me to start doing some videos. I think I'm gonna do them because I'm just like, I'm so frustrated with uh, what's being taught out there. But again, it's like, you know, I wanna get a job, so I'm gonna have to like, kind of, you know, compromise and do a little bit of what they want. But I just like, when I teach, I just, I, I'm all about balance. Balance the front, balance the back. Uh, do intrinsic stabilization strength, do proprioceptive work, you know, do strength and conditioning work, do cardiorespiratory. There's a time and a place for each one of those segments, but to just do it over and over and over and over and over and over, I think she did like, I mean, she just kept doing s squats and then she would do with bent over and I'm just like, man, that's just, it just literally is a recipe for disaster and if you're not hurting yourself in the class, what's gonna happen is because your body's in that fatigue state, you will get injured uh, later on. So anyway, we'll see what kind of an impact I can have uh, here in Tucson. And again, you know, a lot of it is just, um, it's just because my background is functional rehab, is working with people um, to get out of injuries. So when I go into classes and I see these things being taught, it's just like, it's, I literally had to put my blinders on. Um, and it's hard too, because I think the instructors have really good intentions and I think that, you know, they have really sweet, sweet souls. The other thing I would never do in a class because I can't stand this in church. I hate it when I'm in church and they go, turn around to your neighbor and shake their hand. I'm just like, first of all, I don't like, I don't, I don't know if you've been sneezing. Did you just go to the bathroom? I mean, do you know what I mean? Like, I don't want to touch a stranger, even though I'm a real huggy, huggy person. I don't, I just, I feel uncomfortable with that. I like to just, if I'm going to church or if I'm going to a class, I want to be able to relax in myself. And like, in this yoga class, she's like, who's new? Who's new? And she's like, is anybody new here? Raise your hand. And I'm just like, I'm just, and it's so funny because I'm such a, uh, I'm such a, uh, you know, an extrovert, but I say I'm an introverted extrovert. Like, I just, I don't, I, I, what would be better said is, hey, everybody, if you're new, you know, and you have any comments, you know, let me know, you know, raise your hand during the class or something, or come over, or, you know, the next time you take the class, let, you know, see me before, I try to get here a little early for you, but just relax, enjoy, listen to your body, do what you can do. You are the most important person. Listen to your body, listen to what your body's saying, instead of just, like, singling out. I don't know, I just, I just don't like that approach. The same thing happened to me, you guys remember, I don't know if I'm gonna post this vlog, but when I did the spin class and she's like, look at her in her sweatshirt. And the reason I have to wear a sweatshirt is because I have really, really bad asthma and I have what's called a mitral valve prolapse and it's like, I've gotta keep my heart and my chest really super warm or I can get um, I can get an infection around my heart and it can be gnarly. So um, those are just a couple things that I observed in the classes today. But anyway, you guys, um, it's, it's, it's good to go and be reminded of who I am and what my passions are. I just, again, don't know if I fit into this industry like right now. I think what I'm gonna have to do is just create my own classes um, to show you guys, but leave in the comments below. Let me know. Do you want me to do some videos and what are your, uh, do you have spinal dysfunctions? Do you have hips? Do you have knees? Let me know what it is so that I can address those and I can work with you. All right, you guys stand in your light, stand in your truth and above all else, be a warrior. I love you guys so much. Bye.